Welcome, friends. Last guy here, and it's time for more Ghost Trick. I think we're in episode seven, and uh, I need a haircut. Let's go ahead and get going here. I just can't get the images I saw at police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight is the last person in the world I want to believe it did it. Now I'm here at the place she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant the police were staking out is P Point X. But when I got here, I found the place in ruins. Oh shit! Oh no, my food! That's a big float. Whoa, what happened in the- huh. Whoa, what in the world happened here? Oh god, it's the stakeout guy! How many people just died? Two people! He's, a, he's Mario now because I forgot his other voice. Oh, the heavens! What do I do? If I had a known something like this would happen. I would have paid the child more. I would have cooked more chicken for her. I would have sung to her as much as she liked until she had a fill. Actually, about the singing. She did tell me she'd had her fill a time or two. It's a mix of Swedish Chef and Mario. Abort, 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 abort. The chicken in the biscuit. But italian -y. The chef seems to be in quite a panic. Dead person! Oh, she's unconscious. Okay. Anyway, at least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. You can go into his toque, by the way. Oh. Oh, no. She's a knocked out. Jeff's hat. Well, I rolled the tire. So he's dead. What happened to him? According to that police radio conversation I heard, Lynn should be here. But I don't see her anywhere. It seems like bad luck is in has it in, uh, It seems like bad luck has it in for redhead. For uh, seems like bad luck has it in for that redhead. So I was half expecting to see her in trouble again. I spotted the corpse with the van driver though. Uh, I can't oh roll, roll. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Hello, big chicken. Oh god, no! Two people are dead! She got crushed! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, she got crushed! Oh, shit! Oh my god, can you stop dying, please? Look at me! I'm dead! What took you so long? Wrong voice. Uh. Well, that's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? Hmm. Uh, his young was. Hey, shit. How should I know? I'm the victim. There we go. Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. Is it just my imagination, or is she getting more and more brazen every time she dies? Oh, that's because I'm a detective. Had to be tough, you know. All right, she can read his thoughts. Well, and how did it go? Did you check out tomorrow's work schedule, Prisoner D99? Yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I have a few things I want to ask you about, too. Sure, we agreed to use each other. After all, right? Okay, let's swap info then. Why did you shoot me? <laughs> D9, D99's work schedule. Just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard in his cell. But the thing is, there wasn't anything written on prisoner D99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess maybe it means his schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet? But blank? Blank? No! They're gonna kill him. Blank? No! Huh? I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. How come you're so upset about an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that back when I was alive, I never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. You know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Huh? It means something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have to work today to do... Uh, it doesn't mean he doesn't have to work... To it doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It means, like, he can't work. That's because... He's going to be executed! EXECUTED?! Oh, shit. Uh, Let's ask about my murder really quick here. Oh, my way- on my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Oh? It was just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it! I saw my murderer! You saw him? Where? How? Not him, her! Not him, her! There's a security camera set up there at the junkyard where I got shot. The security tape showed the person who shot me. It was you. Another revelation! Uh, dead. 
No way! You're kidding, right? What do you have to say for yourself, Detective? Oh, I was him saying it. It wasn't me! I didn't shoot you! If I recall, this is what you said about who shot me. My memory is, just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure that it wasn't you? But because I told you before! You're supposed to give me some information! Information, huh? Maybe the information was the reason you shot me! What? What do you mean? Why she shot me? Point X, uh, why she shot me? You said you had information on the case that I'm looking into. So I would hardly shoot the person I even heard... Uh, so I would hardly shoot the, you before I even heard the, that information, right? I agree, that wouldn't make sense if it was before. Huh? But what if I was after you... But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? He did talk. I definitely told you something then. I killed your mother! <laughs> or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> and whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? Hmm? I don't remember. I don't know. You've got to believe me. After you saved me, I thought I got all my memories back. But maybe I really didn't. You told me something? I can't remember that part at all. You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No, no! I didn't shoot you! Please tell me, what did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? Meh. Execution. Do you know what prisoner D99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. That's what they say, but it's not true. He would never. Detective Jode would never do anything like that. Okay. And the death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Not for decades. Even if the prisoner wants it, like in this case... The prisoner wants it? There's definitely something else going on with this case. I just don't... I just know it. And I have to find out what. And if his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now. So this prisoner is D99, Detective Jode. Jode. He must be connected to me in some way, too. Oh, don't think about the painting. She's going to ask about that. After all, he obviously knows me. Oh, I was expecting her to go like, he knows you? Because she can read his thoughts, too. Or next. The police were staking this restaurant out tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. That white-suited uh, inspector is surprised to find out you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector Campanella? What in the world made you pick this place anyway? I guess I'd have to say because of you. Me? Huh? He had, he had a, a card on him? Oh, right! Yeah, she found the thing! You remember that note I found? Yeah, I remember that note I didn't get a chance to read. It had a place on the time written. Yeah. It had a place and a time written on it. The chicken kitchen number 10. Oh my god. It had a place and a time written on it. The chicken kitchen. 10, 10 o'clock. In other words, I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight. Yep, apparently so. I just had to get that information you were going to give me. That's why I came here. It was the only lead I had left. And this here is point X, so that must mean the, the mark the police were waiting for was me? Huh. What are you going to do now? I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Hmm. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. All you have to do is not save me. Hmm. She's right. Time to F off. <laughs> is this the ending I was hoping for? Have I unraveled all the mysteries of me? Obviously not, we don't know who we are still. And it'd be great if you got the option. Do you want to end the game now? What am I going to do now? I'm going to save you, that's what. I swear to God, if we, it turns out we're like a devil or something. You are? I want to know everything. Who I was, why I was killed. And I'd like to know who these guys are too. 
I want answers, and I'm gonna find them. But to do that, I'm gonna need your help. Hmm. Okay. I won't say thank you, not yet. And I won't say I'm sorry either. But I'll help see- well, but I'll help see to it that you get your answers. Good. Now I think it's time to go back to the past. I can't leave you lying flattened under a huge chunk of chicken forever, after all. As hilarious as it is. Uh... <laughs> groan. How do you groan? I only know Charlie Brown groan. Ugh! Alright, we're at 11 minutes. 10 p.m. So she's just waiting there. The note said the chicken kitchen, 10 o'clock. I wonder if that pony-haired man was going to meet here. Stop dying. What's this? Ah, oh, new voice! Oh god. Oh, they have an elevator. Wow. Two floors. Here you go! That's too much like Aiko. I gotta try a different voice. Like, oh my god. Maybe that'll work. Where's my chicken? <laughs> How did that break down? Got chains on it. Can I eat that thing? Oh my god. She saves the wheel girl, hides, but gets crushed by the chicken. Oh! Saved a life! But not her own. Oh! Crush! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Ooh! You're just getting- you're just going bigger and better with each death, aren't you? Leave me alone. Can I help it if I got tired of dying the usual ways? But I'll say this. It was a death any detective could be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? The way you saved somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that waitress? The one with the chicken on her head? The next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try one the size of the waitresses. I'll make a note of that for next time. But anyway, if you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it, you know? The detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. Well, we can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of this whole yeah, disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? Can we go back in time for both of them? Okay, let's get started. Like, do I save her and then I try to save him? Or we can only save one life? Maybe there's a way to cushion his crash? I don't know. Oh yeah, right, right, the note said, yeah, okay, okay. If you're going to call me anything, at least try to make it, it my name, Sissel. Sorry about that, I'm really bad with names. The future of this lady's career as a detective looks pretty bleak. I'm pretty sure she read, she heard that. Okay, let's see, what can I do? Alright. I can freak her out with the ring. Let's see, examine. You wrote this note, right? I, I think so, but I don't remember. Ten o'clock. That means it's already time for your meeting with whoever it is. Now I think about it, whoever you were supposed to meet might already be here. You're the detective. Shouldn't you have checked that when you got here? Oh yeah, sorry. The chicken at this restaurant is really good, so you know. <laughs> um, no I don't. Maybe we should take a look around the restaurant, the rest of the restaurant. First let's freak her out. Also, what's this menu? What's this about? It's no use. I can't read what it says. Let's see. Oh, hey! Now I remember what that sign says. If you would like some water, please ring the bell three times. Three times, eh? Yeah, the waitress doesn't bring any water if you only ring the bell once. She said those are the rules, apparently. I said apparently? What do you mean apparently? Don't you work here? Write a stickler for the details, this detective. We need to use the waitress to get going, I'm assuming. Yup, we need to use the waitress. Okay. Ding! Ding, ding. What's this? They, oh, we did three? Okay. Dialogue! No voice! Oh my god. Alright, we're going Sunder because I got nothing else. You rang, y'all? 
Huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't ring the bell. Okay. I get it. This is a little dig, isn't it? Kind of like, hey, where's my food, right? But no, not at all. Besides, I didn't ring it. Oh, okay, that's right. That's all right, then. But the chef is the one who makes the chicken. No sense in harassing me about it, right? Just keep that in mind, Kay. This is the best I could do! Oh, I need to hook up! Uh, odd, odd girl. I see. I agree. Me too! She agrees with herself. Um, unfortunately, I still need her to hook up. So, do it again! Here we go. Oh my god. You want more water? Huh? Oh, sir, I didn't ring the bell. And what's with the more water bit? Oh, well, come on, this is your third water, third glass. Okay, I get it. This is a little dig, wasn't it? I'm like, hey, where's my food, right? No, not at all. Besides, I didn't ring it. But I would like to see you bringing my chicken soon. Duly noted. In the meantime, enjoy a nice glass of water. Go, grab, grab. Okay, there we go. Thank God. Okay, we're in. And we're in. And we're over here now. Okay. Okay, she's gonna go up the elevator. We gotta hook up again. There we go. We're good. We're in the cart. Now we just wait. There it is. All right. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's Guile! Oh my god, how do you voice Guile? I have not heard Guile's voice in the longest time, even though I've played Street Fighter. Examine the trunk. This is one big trunk. It seems pretty heavy, too. It's very suspicious and red. Okay, let's see what's in it. Sorry, but that's not possible. It's locked. Darn, I want to see what's inside. Here you go, y'all. I need to work on my voices. Whoops, I clicked on that wrong. Move. Uh, I can't. No, I can't reach. Dang it. Uh, okay, well, hopefully something happens with Guile that allows me to... Do I have to get in there? I'm over this conversation here because I got nothing else I can do. Oh. Oh, what's the voice with this guy? What do you think, my dear beauty? Do you really think we can trust this deal? Who knows? It's not our job to think about it. But those incidents did happen in this country. Just as he predicted. Oh, I, I, oh he's got a different voice. Yeah, he's got, he's got this grin, right? Yes, they were pretty amusing too, weren't they? That fellow who sang out national secrets during a live television broadcast. That's yeah, gonna work. The man who laid siege to the Metro Police Department taking the bit top dog hostage. But what if he double crosses us? It, it wouldn't be pretty. No, no. He needs this deal too. We've accepted all his conditions as well. Yeah, and thanks to that, we have to be here on this extra little assignment. Let's go with that, I guess. But as long as I'm paired up with you, beauty, I don't mind. How do these two... Uh, how do these two? How do they know about the cases at the special prison? Special prison? The guy who's saying National Secrets, the man who held siege to, to Metro Police. Those cases are classified information. Hmm, I've heard about both those cases recently, too. The perpetrators in those cases are being held at a special facility. That's what the special prison is, but it's not known about by the general public. So prison D so prisoner D-99 is one of those special cases, too, huh? Hmm. These two are talking about the very... Uh, these two are talking about the very same cases I heard about just tonight. That couldn't just be coincidence, could it? New info has been added. Mm hmm? Hmm. What is it, beauty? Why don't we move to a different spot? Good! That helps us out. We need to. 
Oh, we're gonna get the chains! That table in the back looks good. Now you're talking, beauty, my, de my dear. Just what I've been waiting for. A quiet, secluded spot, just the two of us. I wouldn't object to that. All of a sudden, I get this feeling somebody is eavesdropping. My sixth sense is very strong, you know. Well, Guile over here is busy, you know, thinking about his... Uh, what are his Guile moves? Sonic Boom? Sonic Boom. What's the other one called? The, the, the kick. Also thinking about telling this man to go home and be a family man. That's all right, my dear. You don't have to make excuses. Off we go, across the bridge of Paltry, to the land of love. Chicken? Oh, he's a little guy. Uh, the suitcase? Was I supposed to ride the chicken, by the way? Because if I was, I'm screwed on that. Also, who walks around with a damn crop? What just happened? Did she sense we were here? What with her... What? With her sixth sense? <laughs> but you know, I have some pretty amazing powers myself. Yeah, like what? Like getting saved by you. Like if there's a chicken nearby, I can tell right away. That's called a sense of smell. But anyway, at least the situation has changed a little bit now. What fate did we change? We're still at the trunk. I don't believe in the sixth sense. It's not scientific. She sa says the ghost. But come to think of it, we've been left behind, haven't we? It looks that way. Not having legs is even more inconvenient than I thought it would be. But what are we going to do now? They're all the way over there. I'm telling you, we'd better shake a leg. We're going to miss what they're saying. It'd be pretty hard to shake a leg not having legs and all. The suitcase. They're still talking about something. I want to hear. Me too. Ghost. Oh, we can reach a thing. Glass. Dispenser. Ring. Dispenser. Alright, we're at like the halfway point, so let's take a look at new information. The moment Lynn shot me on the tape. Alright, so that's new information there. Lynn is the one who shot me! Here you came and caught her crime on tape. What's the information we have about these characters now? I feel like this guy's gonna be hella important at some point. I get a feeling he's the one that's gonna stop the execution. That's what I'm thinking. This guy is a Swedish chef. Moving on. The fact his nose looks like chicken is weird. Cute chicken carrier. A woman who serves food and water with a smile at the restaurant. The chicken kitchen. He brought Lynn water and she brought the suspicious couple chicken. This guy! Black hearted blue man. One half of the couple at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen. He and his accomplice seem to be waiting there for the other party in their deal. One half of the couple, she is accomplished apparently, uh, she it seems her name is Beauty. Alright, nothing new over here. Ah, chicken kitchen. This is place X. Lynn's there because of the note. This is the uh, where they show him being killed. And okay, let's get back in here. Alright, so. Dispense. What the hell? Uh, what good was doing that? So I was wondering. We're not stuck over here by any chance, are we? We uh, just might be. Okay, well, I have two thoughts. Number one, if we want to get over there to where those two are, we have to use this red trunk they forgot somehow. Oh, I just got rid of the link. Whoops. Sounds about right. What's your other thought? It doesn't look like this blue-haired bartender is going to be much help. So I guess we have to find somebody who can help us then. Go back in time. So we need that cup. We need that cup for, uh, for the link, and I accidentally destroyed it. Because I wasn't thinking. All right. Ghost trick. Oh, we gotta wait for him to put the cup down. He puts the cup down. Link. There we go. Ring the bell. One. Buh. She can hear that bell? She can hear it? Alright. I hope we don't see this trick again, because everybody... Her voice is... I'm just... I'm not making a good voice here. Trick time! I'm Guile. You rang, y'all? 
Oh, I get it. You saw that couple over there and you started to get lonely, right? And so you decided to call me anyway. That oh, that's so sweet. Uh -huh. What's Kyle's voice? You know, I'm going to use Ryu's voice because I can't think of... What's Ryu's voice again? The truth is in the heart of the battle. Forgive me. But I didn't ring for anybody. I can't remember Kyle's voice right now. I got a sonic boom. Sonic boom. Like, is that enough to get a voice? What? Let's see. Sonic boom. Now, could you not stand in my light, please? I can't see my glass properly. Sonic boom. <laughs> I've been working here for two days, and I've been waiting th this whole time for you to notice me. Now, would you stop trying to shake me up and just stick to shaking cocktails? Aww. He likes Guile. She has a surprisingly short career with this place. Alright, well, let's do it again! Ring. Oh, no, it's the elevator. Ring! Oh. He's like, the hell? Oh, well, what if we F with the glass? Okay, can we F the glass and it'll work out for us? Pour over. Got her attention! Oh, you just broke that glass. Oh. Ah, oh, you just broke that glass. Just like you did my heart. Uh, Sonic Boom. <laughs> That's all I got. A broken glass can never be put back the way it was. Just leave it here. There. You can't just leave it. Somebody might get hurt. There it is. I already forgot a freaking voice. Oh my god. I gotta work on my... On having more voices for girls. Because girls are in games. Who knew? Um... What was- it was a southern voice. Doesn't this trunk belong to that couple over there? Sonic Boom. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that every time to keep- to try to catch this voice. I'm trying to find- Sonic Boom. The only thing we allow customers to lose here are their cares. Miss, please go and let them know about the trunk, if you would be so kind. How gallant of y'all. I just might fall for you, you know. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. Into the suitcase. Odd girl. <laughs> I agree. Me too. She's into guile. How do I get to the suitcase, though? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not good. Ring the bell. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, thank God, a new glass. All right, that helps. Oh, there, we're good. Now we wait. Well, goodbye. I've been working here for two days and I've had my eye on you the whole time. I think this might be my last night working here, though. It's been fun. Uh, yay. <laughs> I guess she's leaving this place with her surprisingly short career intact. Oh, uh, he's coming over, okay. Well then, I'm gonna go grab this. Of all the things to forget, it would have been pretty... F it would be pretty... Uh, of all things to forget, it would have been pretty... Uh, of all things to forget, it wouldn't have been pretty if I forgot this. Ugh, carrying a dead body is really hard. What is in that thing? There we go. Here we are, finally! I want to voice this chick like Jesse, but I don't know how. This guy definitely would not have James' voice, though. I feel like... I feel kind of bad about eavesdropping, though. Not me! <laughs> She's a detective. I mean, we just delivered their lost trunk to them, after all. They owe us at least that much. What kind of detective says something like that? Fate changed! Again! What can I do? Swing. Oh, good, we need the swing, yeah. If they talk first. No talking. Alright. Time to swing. Ooh. Oh, now they talk. I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. That's what he loves about him? Um, that's what she, he loves about her? I don't get it either. Now, where were we? All right. Who to invite to the wedding? If we got married, that is, of course. 
Like, oh my god. <laughs> we can talk about that when we're alone. Hmm, but aren't we alone now, beauty? Huh? You think she senses our presence again? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. Hmm? Oh, here it comes! Uh-oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go! We need to stop the change before it kills her. He dies no matter what. What? After all that trouble, it happened anyway? It looks that- it, it looks that way, yes. It's not over yet, though. It's not? What are you talking about? You're not dead yet. N no but I'm going to be in a just a few seconds. Here we go. Oh, they get one under. But before that happens, maybe there's something we can do from here. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Just checking. All right, here we go, here we go. Swing! Oh, there we go. Get there! Son of a... Time it! Get there we go. Okay, okay, I'm here, I'm here. Wait for it. Okay, it's gonna turn. And stop this thing somehow! How do I stop it? No, 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 oh, no, Siren! Get to him! We have to save him to save her! Oh my god! We're gonna save him to save her! Okay, so that's how we do it. Oh my god, that's how we do. Okay. Hello? Looks like he's unconscious. Excuse me, could you wake up for a second, please? Pushy as ever, this detective. One thing I've learned is that the newly dead stay unconscious for a little while at first. Huh? I was like that, and you were like that too. Oh yeah, I, I guess you're right. Anyway, if we restart the flow of time now, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Why don't we go... Why don't we try going back even further in time? What? what? Even further? But how? Simple, we go back four minutes before the death of this poor driver here. I did not expect that, I was wondering about that. You can do that? I never tried it before, so I don't know how it'll go. But if we can erase the driver's death, that should erase your death too. Oh, wow. I can't think of any other way. Let's try it. Rewind time, so we can go double rewind? That's interesting. This game's pretty creative, I really appreciate that. Oh god, what's the voice I get this friggin' guy? I'm gonna voice him like Mo, but I don't know how to voice Mo. What the? That's Lynn, our, our rookie detective. That's not Mo at all. That's not Mo at all. Here's Callan. Uh, that's Lynn, our rookie detective. What's she doing at Point X? Could it be just an a, a coincidence? And we just got an APB on her a little while ago. Something about. Extremely important cases, extremely important witnesses are currently extremely on the run. Now what? Should I report this to Inspector Campanella? I guess I will. They told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency, but I think I'd better call this in. Oh, Lynn, I wonder what she did this time. Inspector Campanella is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. But uh, all right, this phone's going off. What's the matter? All right, fine. Okay, what's he doing? This is Porn X. Idiot! <laughs> yes, sir, I'll go get her. Oh, because they just skipped all that dialogue, okay. So he's driving down to get her, but what happens? The static is awful. Someone cut the brakes? I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. There's the ladybug! Oh! 
Oh, it's, it hurts, Beauty. But that's okay. It's one of the the noise from her burning the the bug. That's for a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little late little bugs. The static hurts him. I can't hear very well. Ah, there it is. It knocks him out. Oh, that's how we save him. The static from her burning the bug knocks him out. All right, the chicken kitchen's in on it. Right, I forgot. They're in on the spying. So that's how he dies. Wow, the van driver was a detective. It looks like it. It looks like it. I noticed something, though. That conversation he was listening to just before the crash, I remember hearing it before. You're right. We just heard it a few minutes ago, didn't we? Just after that conversation, the detective suddenly passed out. What happened, I wonder? We already know the answer. We saw what happened at the restaurant. There it is. The bug. She burned it. She burned the ladybug. Sometimes when a high-tech bug like that is destroyed, it emits a loud it emits a loud signal. Loud enough to knock a person out if they were listening to it through headphones. So that's why the detective passed out, huh? Bingo! Now let's stop it from be hap uh, now let's stop it from happening. We're gonna go from his dead body. How do we get over there? Well, that's a different angle. What? We're back here? Hey, this place. This is the place that white suited inspector phone tonight. Because he's in the car, we can go back to where he was in the car. Okay, that's interesting. This is the parking lot of the park on the east side of town. It's been years. You know this park? Yeah, I used to play here a lot when I was little. But then one day, I saw I'd never set foot in this park ever again. Whoa, those are some really deep, dark feelings there. I wonder what happened. Hold it. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have a foot to set a bit. It's just a figure of speech. What kind of nitpicker do you think I am? Anyway, whatever. Let's get started. Okay, let's do that. I won't press her about that other thing right now. What? Okay, this is happening. What the? Okay. Where can we go? We can turn on flashing light, recline seat. Flash it. Let me just see what it does. That might get his attention. Doesn't look like the tech is coming, going to come. Might as well turn it off. It's pretty loud. All right. Recline the seat to move further. Who the hell reclined my seat? That's all we can do for now? All right. Race seat. Lower seat. Oh, there we go. Race seat. Lower seat. Boop! Alright, now we got that to move to. Binox. We, we're on the binoculars now. But what else could we do with the binoculars? Race seat. Lower seat. What can we do with the binoculars? Also, did I ruin things by moving it here? There was a conversation, and we can't get to that conversation. Oh, this might get his attention. Ring, ring! It doesn't look like it's really still? Wow. Who is the detective talking to? Don't keep yelling at me about these things. They might be talking about something ridiculously important. That's true, but still. It might be the person who really shot you. Now you're just throwing things out there. But in any case, it looks like it's too late to get to the phone now. Darn it, I think we missed our chance. How do we t how do we get that chance? Right, let's go back in time. Guess I better rewind the clock and see if I can pick up other clues. How do we get that one? He walks by, but... Hmm. Okay, ghost trick. Okay, we're gonna sit here. I wonder. I wonder. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, get ready to do the trick! Trick, trick! Oh, I can't do the trick! Okay. I want to try to catch him in there. Will I get his attention now? There it is! Okay, there we go. Get to the binoculars! Get to the binoculars! Oh, they're on the wrong side. If we put him on the seat, maybe? Uh, his binoculars, okay. What are these doing here? There we go! That's how we do it, okay. That's how we do what we do. What's the matter? What? Okay, get in there. Who is it? Ah, oh, there we go. Detective Ridge, this is memory. What's the matter? It's not time for your regular report. Listen to this. There's a suspicious couple in the bar upstairs. Y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna put a ladybug on him. Ladybug? You mean the listen device? Oh, that's why she's only there for three days. Don't do anything to blow our cover. Inspector Campanella will be furious. But they're doing all kinds of suspicious whispering. We have to find out what they're saying. You can pick up the signal from your van. Check out that conversation for me, would you, y'all? Alright, fine. Once you get going on something, I know there's no stopping you. Thanks. Later, then. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Did you see a customer come in just now? A young woman with uh, red hair and red boots? Oh, yeah. That restless, suspicious chick. Sure. Yeah. Suspicious? I mean, come on. As soon as she sat down, she ordered three glasses of water in a row. And she spilled the second glass on the table. Okay, fine. Keep your eye on her, uh, too, if you would. You got it. Oh, wow. That waitress was an undercover agent. And she apparently thought you were pretty suspicious, too. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was really thirsty, so, you know. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Anyway, did you hear what I heard? About the listening device? We have to do something about that bug. So should we stay here or follow up on the waitress? Looks like it's time to make a decision. The waitress! It's the bug! We gotta take care of that bug. How did she notice the bug, though? Alright. Race complete. New place! For no reason! A chicken kitchen! Hey look, hey, look where we are! The hearted chicken kitchen, huh? Yep, or as people like to say, the kitchen. I hope the key to preventing that accident is somewhere here. Oh, I bet it will be. You know what I what they say? Where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. Mm, now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. Fate changed. Okay, here we go. Turn on the switch. Scrunch and stretch. What? Let's see what this is. Scrunch and stretch. There we go. We can do that. That's cool. Okay. Oh, rock. Rock the kettle to the down of town. Okay, uh, rock the kettle. Rock the kettle. Rock the kettle. Rock the kettle. Uh, nothing yet. Hey, look what she's doing. Do you think that could be... That could be? Yeah, she's probably planting the ladybug. Now think about it. It's this waitress's meddling that starts the whole chain of events. Detective wouldn't have gotten his, his ears blown out and wouldn't have crashed. In other words, we're witnessing it with our own eyes. The cause of a huge disaster slowly being planted in a chicken. Yeah, I just got a... Hey, I just got an idea. What about to do with the ladybug? No, I was thinking we could let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. I can't tell if you're kidding. At any rate, now we've seen the root cause of the accident. And all we have to do now is think of a way to take care of it. I got ideas. We gotta switch the chickens. We gotta switch the chickens. Turn on. What's that? What's wrong? I can't seem to raise the switch. It won't budge. Yeah, well, not surprising considering this whole place is sticky with grease. I bet it must be stuck. It does feel pretty sticky. And the switch were already raised. I bet it, I could manage to lower it. 
<laughs> it's Mook in here, y'all. Okay, let's see what happens. Is this what the switch is about? He's gonna force it up. Ah, okay, what does it do? Okay, that's the okay, that's the air to place out. Those are the fans to take out the smoke. Okay. What can we do with that? What can we do with that? We can lower it! But what precisely does this do for us? He's still busy putting the thing on. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's got a bottle on his hat! <laughs> yeah, oh, there we go, that's what we need. He's got a bottle on his head. Okay, when she turns around... There it is, right there. We're gonna switch him. That's what the pedal's about. Switch it! Now there's no bug on there anymore. Okay, we're good. Now we need to move. Here we go. This is our chance. Right there. Now do I move? They're all set, y'all. Now do I go in there? Do I go in there? Nope, too late. There, how about that? The ladybug is still sitting on the table. We did it. I remember now I voiced him as Bacchus before. Right. La la. Thou art so beautiful, chicken. Okay. Well, what you know one? La la la, chicken. Thou art so beautiful, chicken. That is a terrible voice. And it still makes him crash. I took a bite, my heart swelled with a pride, and I got a goose of arms. Jesus, what? What the heck is this? The heck is this? I'm consumed with the love of consuming you. La 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 la. The hell? <laughs> he still crashes. He still crashes. Did it! Ah, right, here we go. Well, it looks like you've escaped the fate of being hammered by your horrible hen. Yes, but it still hasn't... <clears throat> Yes, but I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I... I shot you, didn't I? There must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do it. It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. Hey, shouldn't that be my line anyway? Hey, shouldn't that be my line? But anyway... You were investigating a case, and I was supposed to give you information on that case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you're looking into. Yes, I guess I should. But let's go back to the new present first. Okay, sure. Back in the new present, uh, the, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. But I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still waiting for her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her. See her and ask her the questions that were still consuming me. Ghost trick! Uh, I would assume we just phone over? There it is. The kitchen chicken! The chicken kitchen! How do we get over there, though? The disastrous accident has been completely erased. Once again, I'm s once again, I've saved the red-headed detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs over my head. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. And there he is right there while she's chowing down. With the bug, I guess. Jesus, she is eating. Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. Damn, she's going to town on that chicken. She's either the daughter of the detective or Camilla is. That's my guess. Okay, we got a ring for water. If Lynn's having a serious talk with that detective... Nah, she's just gobbling down chicken. How do detectives know to stake out this restaurant tonight? I'd better see if I can get more some information. But more importantly, I have lots of questions for that lady detective. 
Ah! I just, how do I get over there? The bug! The bug! The bug! The bug! How, but how do I get to the car? Oh, I can still hear from here? Okay. Ah, oh, I didn't know you were here, Detective Ridge. Come to see me, did you? Did you? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hi, Memory. Uh, didn't mind. Don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? Ah, uh, no thanks. Just watching Lynn eat is quite enough for me. <laughs> so, how did it turn out with my ladybug? Yeah? Oh, that listen to us? Well, let's see. Uh, I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Uh, but we're in the middle of an important conversation. Could you leave us to it? But you guys are the ones who called me over. Hmm. Uh, girl? I agree. <laughs> me too. Okay, she's gonna come over with water this time. She hears this bell and thinks it's that bell because there's no one at this table. Use it to my advantage. Here we go. Grab. There it is. There we go. Do you decide you want some chicken or me after all? Oh my god, she made the move! I'm taking us in your window. We didn't call you, sorry, but uh, could you give us some privacy? No, stay right there. Huh? I'm at the crucial moment with this chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. <laughs> Lynn, don't you ever risk your life over chicken, you know? He's right, look at her attacking that thing. Anyway, I'd better move now while I had the chance. Trick time! Time to get inside Lynn, Tee. What if I ring the bell now? Hmm, that's funny. Even though I just saved that detective, he doesn't have a core. Not the one Lynn has, or that valiant little doggy missile. I thought the ones I save are supposed to develop a core when they're alive again. I guess I still have things to learn about these powers of the dead. That's interesting, yeah. Well, I'm headed back. Lots of things to know, uh, to do, you know, yeah. Yeah, I like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday I'll plant a bug on you, detective. Oh, girl. I agree. Me too. Listen, Lynn. Uh, you're, you've explained your side and I understand, but there's an APB out on you. Can you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly? No, I can... No can do. I'm meeting somebody here. Meeting somebody? Oh, yeah, that's right. The little lady, Camilla. But why do you have to d meet somebody here? The special investigation unit is watching the restaurant. How now? How can that be a coincidence? I don't know, but it is a coincidence. But uh, hey, is it true what they say that you're still looking into Detective Jones' case on your own? Hmm. Inspector Campanella is worried about you. You know. I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? She is destroying that chicken. Oh my god, can we save here? I need to save here. Alright, we gotta save here. Alright, we gotta cut it short. Just a little bit. Uh -huh, save again. Alright, so next time we'll see what's going on with this and other things. Ah, uh, shoot. Recorded just a little too uh, soon before an important thing, so... <laughs> Crap, I got no time. So there you go, that right there is the game for now. We'll see what comes up and everything. And I guess Missile's gonna die next is my assumption, but that is the game for now. I had fun with watching, that's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun, thanks for coming by, and see you next time.